Greetings. This is astrologer Pam Young Hans, and here is my forecast for the week of October 23rd to 29th, 2023. The final eclipse of 2023 will grace our skies next Saturday, October 28th. The full moon event, which perfects at 1.24 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 2024 Universal Time, occurs when the moon is at 5 degrees 9 minutes of Taurus, opposite the sun at the same degree of Scorpio, with our planet Earth positioned between the two luminaries. This will be a partial lunar eclipse, since the Earth will not completely block the sun's light from reaching Luna. Visually, most of us may notice only a slight dimming of the reflected light from the moon. The event will be visible from any location where the moon is above the horizon at the time, including Asia, Russia, Africa, the Americas, Europe, Antarctica, and Oceania. A full moon always offers important insights and increases self-awareness. It does this primarily by intensifying our emotions, making sure that we become aware of them and how they have been affecting us. With Saturday's lunar eclipse, we are also offered a deeper understanding of recent events, especially those that have occurred since eclipse season began in late September. With the sun in Scorpio, instincts are strong and reactions may be dramatic, but these are meant to be balanced by the inner serenity, grounding, and stability represented by the moon in Taurus. This partial lunar eclipse is at the same degree as a total lunar eclipse that occurred on October 28, 2004. A cycle that began 19 years ago is drawing to a close, and a new one is beginning. Where this shift is occurring for each of us individually is shown by the house locations of five degrees of Taurus and Scorpio in our natal astrological charts. The polarities represented by a full moon are intensified in Saturday's lunar eclipse due to the close proximity of three other planets to the luminaries. The Taurus moon is conjunct Jupiter, and the Scorpio sun is conjunct both Mercury and Mars. The push-pull of opinions and ideologies is magnified, with both sides being stubbornly attached to their view of reality and their set course of action. Thoughts, words, and actions are strongly influenced by emotions with this lunation and may be expressed with great intensity. Some may speak or act tactlessly or impulsively, or with the intent to manipulate or control. Much of this may occur unconsciously or instinctively. A drive to gather more and more data can lead to overwhelm if we are not careful. We can also become obsessed with trying to figure out deeper motivations or to understand intellectually what's really going on. This will be a good time to monitor the need to take in more information and to ask ourselves if reading yet another news story will truly serve us, or if going within to ascertain a deeper truth is a better route to take. Ultimately, what we seek is hope and faith in a positive outcome, Jupiter and Taurus, and that goal may not be easily achieved by seeking or doing in the outside world. One of the specific dangers of this eclipse energy is being dogmatically attached to an outdated perspective. It is possible that our words and actions are being motivated by a belief or opinion that once was true for us, but which is not in alignment with who we are becoming. This full moon lunar eclipse is a powerful opportunity to become aware of where we are too rigid and may be unconsciously controlled by an old view of reality. Here are my brief interpretations of this week's most important planetary aspects. On Monday, the sun enters Scorpio. A new solar month begins when the sun enters the eighth sign at 9.20 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time today. Over the next four weeks, we tend to dive more deeply into issues of concern, may be more emotional, and feel an urge to seek truth, even if it is uncomfortable. On Tuesday, the sun is trying Saturn. Saturn's stabilizing influence is very welcome now. This aspect helps us to maintain a calm demeanor and to channel our emotions in responsible and productive ways. 
There are no major aspects exact on Wednesday. On Thursday, Venus is quincunx Chiron. We may become aware of unhealed wounds based in not having our needs met in relationships or not feeling valued for being who we are. As with all Chiron aspects, realizing where we have pockets of pain within provides an opportunity for a conscious self-care. On Friday, Mars is sesquiquadrate Neptune. We may struggle with knowing when to take action and assert ourselves versus when to accept and allow circumstances to unfold. On Saturday, Mercury is sesquiquadrate Neptune. A lack of clarity can make it hard to know our true feelings and can result in confusing conversations. And Mars is exactly opposite Jupiter on Saturday. There is a tendency to be overly reactive, especially if our beliefs about reality are being challenged. Some may act impulsively or take a leap of faith without considering the possible consequences. The full moon lunar eclipse perfects today at 1.23 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And on Saturday, Mercury is exactly opposite Jupiter. Thinking and judgment are strongly affected by emotions. Because of this, we can miss important details. So making long-term decisions is not advised. We can tend to over-obsess about an issue or to try too hard to explain ourselves. On Sunday, Mercury is conjunct Mars. Words and actions are somewhat compulsive, driven by instinct rather than reason. We could feel a strong urge to speak or take action. Objectivity is not very strong, and thus our reactions feel very visceral. As a result, conversations can easily become argumentative. If your birthday is this week, This year could find you passionately involved in a new activity or project. The need to express your thoughts and beliefs is very strong, but you may not always do so tactfully. Patience is key this year. Much can be accomplished if you slow down long enough to tap into an inner knowing of right action and proper timing. If your birthday is in the first part of this coming week, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, You are entering a time of profound inner and outer change where your self-understanding will deepen and your sense of purpose may shift accordingly. This is astrologer Pam Younghans wishing you an insightful week. Thank you for being with me on this journey. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.